What's up guys, it's Agent J here today. I'm going to be doing some benchmark scores for the BlackBerry Z30 and I'm going to be comparing it to the Q10 and the Q10 is almost identical, just a difference in screen size to the Z10 so you can use those numbers as well. I'm going to be comparing it to the Nexus 4. I'm not going to use the iPhone 4 because that's it's just obsolete at this time. Uh, so first test is going to be Sun Spider. So previously I run Sun Spider over the break so you guys don't have to wait too long for it on my Q10 and the score that I end up getting was uh, <clears throat> 1276 but I'll run it again and I'm gonna run <clears throat> Sun Spider on the Nexus 4 as well. This phone has been restarted, the browser has been cleared, the cache has been cleared on all of these devices. So on the BlackBerry, and I want you guys to see this as best as possible. On the BlackBerry device I end up getting a score, hopefully you guys should be able to see this of 994.3, I'll bring that up right there, 994.3, so it's under a thousand, which is really phenomenal for a BlackBerry device. This has never been done on BlackBerry 10, so this is definitely a step in the right direction. So I'm going to get you the score for the new Q10, I just redid it as well. It's 1300, I got 1276 previously, but it's 1300 right now, that's totally fine. So you can literally see there's like a big 300 uh, score leap down and I'm going to show you the score for the Nexus 4. Nexus 4 scored 1245.9. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, 1245.9. I'll fix the focus. There we go. So 1245.9. Uh, so... <clears throat> The BlackBerry Z30 wins that, however, the Nexus 4 is not uh, a, not a really huge phone, however, it does have quad-core support, and this is on the Google Chrome browser, this is on BlackBerry 10 browser, and BlackBerry 10 browser. So on to the next test. So in the next test, what we are going to do is we're going to run an 2.2 uh, benchmark, also known as, I forgot what, what's the other name called as well. <clears throat> but I siloed this app. I'll put the, the app up if anyone wants to run some benchmarks on their phone. However, a benchmark does not mean anything in the real world. It just shows you how the device is. So I've never tested this before, so you guys are going to see the first test, and I'm going to see the same value at the same time. So I'm just going to hit test. I'm going to run the test for the custom test for all of the UX, the CPU, the RAM, the GPU, the I.O. Apparently this is one of the best tests for any device. So this is going to take a while, so I'll be back with... Oh, actually, this is pretty fast, though. Previously, the BlackBerry Q10 took like almost 20 minutes to do it. What the N22 test does is basically a full system test that analyzes analyzes the CPU and memory performance, GPU rendering, and storage speed. Uh, one thing that I found with this test, and a lot of other tech reviewers have found, was this test itself performs really well, and it's quite consistent, and not a lot of people have been able to uh, customize their phone to beat the test. Samsung. <clears throat> and uh, so, I'll let you guys know the score at the end of this. So the N22 scores are in, and this is the value that I've gotten. I'm gonna now. This was just what popped up on the screen. I'm gonna show you the test value: seventeen thousand five hundred and fifty-one. That's pretty good because this is a score for the BlackBerry Q10. I've done absolutely nothing to these phones. It's just a score: uh, nine thousand two hundred and thirty-four, which is I'd say almost. Uh, let's say about over one point five. Let's say close to almost double. Uh, but that's pretty good though, 1759, because the Nexus 4, what has quad-core uh, CPU, scored 16991. And uh, if you guys wanted to see the ranking though, <laughs> uh, I'll show it to you as well. This is the Galaxy Note 3, it's a really powerful device, really amazing technology on it. The S4 had some controversy about this test, but our device, it's right here, 17, between the Samsung Galaxy S3, uh, I'll try to focus in on that, between the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Google uh, Nexus 4, and that adds up to the information that we got on this as well. So the very next test that we are going to do, it's going to be called Geekbench. A lot of people know about it. You could run it on your Mac, you could run it on your PC, you could run it on everything. So I ended up buying the app for the Q10, the... 
Z10 because I use two different accounts and I end up buying uh, the app for, well, I think I got it free for the Nexus. So I'm just gonna hit run benchmarks. It's just gonna run the benchmarks. It's Geekbench 2, not 3. So uh, because this is the only one available that works on the BlackBerry App Store, I'm gonna run all of these and I'm gonna set them up side by side and leave them. So there we go. So the Geekbench for the Nexus 4 just finished and it came in first, I'm 2269. I'm just gonna hit the power button so you can see it's the actual Geekbench app. So 2269. The Geekbench score for the Q10 just came in, like when I was doing that. And it's 1828 versus uh, 2269, so it's about a difference of uh, 400. And the Geekbench score for the Q10 30 it just came in like just seconds ago uh, 2335 so like I said these scores mean absolutely nothing to the phone and this is not like generated or anything like that you can scroll swipe up and you can actually see uh, the Geekbench app right there it's actually performed slightly better than last year hey guys so I found this on uh, Gizmodo website they use the Geekbench 3.0 scores, and this is the scores for on 3.0. Uh, remember, the BlackBerry Z30 scored 22,335 on Geekbench 2.0. You could actually see how this works out. For so for the very next test, what we are going to be doing, we're going to be doing HTML5 tests just to see how it handles. Because I know Google 4.3 is out and Google 4.4 is going to come out. So the history has been cleared, the cache has been cleared, and I pull up all these web pages uh, over the break. So we're going to see, if you could look in the background, you'd actually see the HTML5 score has finished on the Z30. Uh, and I'm gonna wait for the rest of them. So the Z30 has finished. And I actually dropped the phone right there A lot of people are gonna hate me for that and it's actually 485 uh, That's nothing new. It was the same as that on BB 10.1 and BBM 10 well BlackBerry 10 and the Q10 as well has 485 and for some reason the Q10 looks really beautiful on this camera and we're gonna get the Nexus 4 results right now you can see it's the same for both the BlackBerry 10 devices and the Nexus 4 on Google Chrome is 449 plus 11 bonus points uh, just remember one thing in mind these scores mean absolutely nothing in real world absolutely nothing in the real world it's just a benchmark Mark score just to see how the phone is capable of doing what what it what it is actually capable of doing and what it's not capable of doing so in four or tests that I've completed today the BlackBerry Z30 has come out on top even even by a slight little uh, increments and stuff like that it still beat out all the devices and you can actually see how it actually stacks up with a Nexus 4 which has quad core features and tons of app support so this has been my video on geek benching be sure to hit the like button be sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to follow me on facebook twitter instagram uh google plus i've got all of those accounts open so see you guys in the next video